Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am so excited to be with you again. It was such a long week last week. Uh, I think I only did two or three videos last week, but um, I wanted to just come on with a bang today because as you see, the title is important to me anyway. And I know to many of you all it is too, but first, let me tell you what I'm eating. I am eating Burger King today. And Burger King is one of my favorite places because um, I like that flame broil taste. There's nothing wrong with McDonald's now. I like McDonald's in a pinch and stuff. It's, you know, it's all right. Um, but Burger King is nothing like that flame broil taste. It has always been like that for me. Um, oh, it's just, whew, you can't beat flame broil. You can't. Anyway, this is the Bacon King. What it came in. Oh. I only ate some cereal this morning because I knew I was going to get something good. Okay, these are the chicken nuggets. They have gone down on price. Um, they are a dollar. Ten pieces for a dollar. Oh my goodness. And McDonald's got, got a, don't have a run for their money. But anyway, I wanted fries plus onion rings, but the lady thought I meant replace my fries with the onion rings. And I was trying to double check at the windows, like, y'all got everything? I was like, yes, 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 we got everything. And, um, okay, good. They don't have no sauce. I didn't want no sauce on them. But, um, got to the parking space because I checked, you know, checked my bag. And I should have checked at the window, but I didn't, which is okay because I was thinking fries, that would have been a little much. That just would have been being greedy. <laughs> As you get older, you know, I used to get just eat some stuff. Teenage years and in my 20s. But then after that, you just kind of slow down a little bit. You know, most people do. And it's like, I can't fit everything. And I want to fit everything. <laughs> but I can't. I can't. So, anyway. But I'm still enjoying everything. Got my ketchup. My Heinz. I knew I was coming home, so I didn't get any little packets. That's just kind of annoying when you're at home and um, got those little packets to deal with. But into who got the bacon on here. I just want a little bit of ketchup on here. Oh my goodness. And I like to make sure I got bacon in every bite. So, scooch that on over. Put some ketchup here to dip my onion rings in. And I got my barbecue sauce. This is Burger King's barbecue sauce. I'm going to sit it right there. So that's that. And guess what, y'all? You know, I did the last mukbang, the McDonald's mukbang that I did, rather, a couple weeks ago. And it was about, um, one of the questions was, are they bringing high C orange back? Well, I don't think they bring a high C orange back, as I stated. But guess who got it? <laughs> Burger King. I did not know. I did not know. I don't know if they had high C before McDonald's got rid of it or not. Or either when McDonald's got rid of it, they picked it up. I don't know. I'm going to find out. But I look, oh, Burger King got the high C orange, y'all. So... If y'all been looking for the complete thing, Burger King got it. The good drink and the Flame World Burger. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, let me say my grace. God is great and God is good. Lord, I thank you for this food and this drink. Make them nourishing and not harmful. In Jesus' name, I pray and I thank you for it. Amen. All right. I know y'all are saying, what are you doing praying making it to make it nourishing and not harmful? <laughs> caloric as it is hey you still gotta pray over your food you don't want nothing harmful in it you know and different things like that and hey praying always works so can't hurt all right so i'm about to get started mm, 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 mm. Mm. and you all please eat with me Cause here at Tracy's place, all of you all are my guests. Coming here to Tracy's place, I love having y'all. I love interacting in the comments with you all. 
You are just the best. I'm telling you, hands down, you are the best. So, enjoy some food with me. Whether it's Burger King or it's just something from home. If you're at work, kudos to you. Eat lunch with me. Mm. And if you all know somebody, you know, I know this, not a lot of people say this. I haven't heard anybody say this, but there's a lot of lonely people out there. And they say a lot of people are lonely in this um, tech, tech, tech technology age that we're in because they seclude themselves they think they don't need anybody or just a lot of lonely people watch a lot of social media too to feel included and stuff like that so yeah i know i need lonely people i, ha I hate that but share me to them you know i don't want anybody to be lonely out there So share these, share this. I appreciate it. Mmm. That is good. That is good. So anyway, getting into the topic. Seize the day. Okay, as y'all see, well, y'all might not can see. I got on my Bengals jersey. It's my team, y'all. I'm repping today. <laughs> We've been having a pretty good season so far. So I'm excited about that. But the Bengals have this little theme song kind of going on right now. And we hear, hear it all the time on our local TV stations. And the tune is so catchy. Look it up. It's called Seize the Day. S-E-I-Z-E. -E, the day and day is d-e-y because in bengal nation we say who they who they who they who they think gonna beat them bengals who they who they who they think gonna beat them bengal so that's our champ and it has been our champ for years so i should have been drinking out of my bengals mug i sure should have but that's been our chat our chant but i want to encourage you all to seize the day. Um, and that little song that we have for seize the day here in Bengals Nation. I said, look, look that up. There's a video. If you look up seize the day, D-E-Y, um, Google it, seize the day, and a video will come up. And y'all watch that video. It's the, oh, I love that. Every time it comes on, I don't care if I'm at the dinner table, walking around the house or whatever, I hear that, I'm like, hey. We go, don't, don't, da 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 don't, don't. We're going to have a good day. Na, na, I don't know the word. Na, 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 na. Yeah, we're going to have a good day. I'm going to get the word. I'm going to get the word. I love the, oh, I love that. That gets me going. I say, you know what? After I pray in the mornings, I read my word and everything. I'm going to listen to that song every day. So that's what I want to talk to y'all about. Seizing the day. And also, you know, make it bigger. 2019 is coming up, y'all. Make this year a great year. Two, 2018, we're in October. I cannot believe it. But the year is almost gone. It's not too late to, to do anything. Now, I'm not saying that. Because sometimes people, you know, they make this big old plan and you know when the new year comes i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do this some things you can start right now especially you have we have like two and a half months left in the year mm. so take advantage of what you have now and i know in my last video in the blog that i just did and i think i was saying you know, about being content with what you have and be thankful for what you have. But on in the midst of that, still, more is okay. God is okay with you wanting more for your life. He wants you to be content where you are. Not necessarily, he doesn't want you to stay where you are. 
He wants us continually growing. And God is happy when you prosper. He wants us to prosper. So, if you have plans, if you are unhappy with where you are, you all seize the day. And how do you do that? Write the vision and make it plain. And faith without works is dead. Don't just write a whole bunch of stuff and thinking God is going to just, you know, boom, boom. <laughs> He's not a sugar daddy. He wants you to work. He wants you to do some things. He don't want us to be lazy. Oh, Lord. Now I go get that orange. I see. That's where it is. Burger King. I thought it was gone for good, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, write your plans down. Just get a book for, for your goals, for your plans, and write down the, the vision that you have, that you're not content with your life right now. You're not content where it's going. You might not be content where you're working. You might not want to work. Some people do want to work. You know, they want to advance in their career. Um, they, or some want to quit their job and work from home. Um, whatever the case may be write it down there's something about writing it down it comes out of your mind into reality when you write it down it's like you have a purpose now so write it down and you don't have to start big sometimes you you just know you're not um satisfied as far as staying where you are not that you're not content not that you're not thankful for what you have but you want more so write down the way you see your life. Um, say, for instance, my thing is working from home. I'm entrepreneur-minded, um, driven in that manner, and I didn't want an outside job. So I used to work, you know, part-time, and then it got to kind of like full-time, then it pulled back, and it was just, it was always just not me. It was not me, and I was unhappy working outside of the out of the house um i didn't want to um not be available for, mm, excuse me i didn't want to not be available for my kids even you know isaiah he's older now but he still needs stuff and they're at school they still need stuff they forget stuff some paper needs to be signed. Some money needs to be taken to the school. They get sick or something like that. Sometimes, you you know, you're sick or, you know, my husband had, you know, surgery several times. And I was able to be home. And I was so, so thankful for that. Um, with my son, I have the video, too, if you ever want. Some people say, you have more children? <laughs> Um, my son and his family, they live, oh goodness, not close by. So I went out there for his graduation. He's in law enforcement. So I went out there for his graduation from the academy and I was able to just go. I was able to just go not have to worry about taking, and now they have this thing called PTO time to where I think you're sick and vacation is all lumped together and you know you used to have a certain amount of days for vacation a certain amount of days for sickness and it seemed like it was longer it was more time now it's lumped together and oh my god I, boy and so anyway if your goal whether you're a mom or you're not a mom you might just want to start your own business whatever the case may be Write it down. Write down. First start off with how you see your life. How you want your life. Write it down. Be ye specific. Be specific. Because there are so many open-ended prayers and open-ended things that we do and say. And they're not specific. And sometimes they can just come out any old kind of way. If you're not specific. Somebody might say, oh, I want to get married. 
Don't just say that. You need to be praying what kind of man that you want. You know, how you want your, you know, your life to be. Da, 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 da. Be specific. You can get married to anybody and be married. <laughs> you don't want that. So, and get excited about seizing the day. Each day you wake up and you might be going to the same old job, the same old place. You got the same, um, I hate to say headaches, but the same situations you're dealing with with your children or with your spouse or whatever. Start changing it. Start changing it. And there's nothing like an action plan to do that. Not everything happens overnight. Don't think that. And some for some people, it does. Say like, I'll give an example. Now, I know Beloved, um, there's one person I can point to because, you know, she looks like me. And I got so excited when she, when she just, just took off and everything because it's like you want to see people that look like you succeed because you think to yourself, oh. She had businesses before that she owned, and, you know, I think they were doing fine, but she wanted something else. So she said, she said, um, you know, she started her YouTube channel, and I think she said she had given herself, I don't know if it was one to three years or something like that, to make $100,000 or something. I know that woman has exceeded that. Not that the money is the issue, but she has... Uh, life of more freedom now and that she is financially um, free to do a lot of things and she's just doing you know living her dream so I am so excited about that so excited for her and um, and she took off it was like overnight with the YouTube thing um, but she put in a lot of work she kept grinding uh, and she's an inspiration. If you want to look, she has you, videos about starting a YouTube channel and different things like that. But she is an inspiration. And um, she tells you how she did it. But anywho, so, so shout out to her. And I'm like, oh, she did it. I can do it too. I can do it too. And, you, and when you're Seizing the day when you're looking at how you want your life to be. Don't compete with anybody else. Be yourself. Um, sometimes you see someone else's life and it looks good. But you yourself might not be happy in that lifestyle. So think about what would make you happy. What would make you fulfilled. And then go from there. Um... Not everybody wants a lot of material things. Sometimes some people just want to be debt-free and they don't want their lifestyle to change a whole bunch. They might just want to travel. They just might want to be debt-free and travel or, you know, what have you. They might not want the big house and the cars, but then some people may. And the love of money is the root of all evil, not money itself. So it's okay to have money. Just don't love it. Don't be, don't make money your God. Because God is God. And that, that you know, he's the end all and be all. Because he can make the money go away. He can make the money come. I knew, why did I, every time I do this, somebody call. And it's my husband. <laughs> anyway, God can make the money come and God can make the money go. Hold on. Hello. Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm doing a mukbang. Take the one. Yeah. You mind if I call you back? Okay. Bye. <laughs> it never fails. He always calls me when I'm doing my mukbang. But anywho, it's okay. He was just calling to check and see how I was doing. Mmm. And y'all, it's going to be a snack for later because I can feel myself getting full. So, but anyway, 
And also, I don't know if any of you are Christians or not, or what your spiritual beliefs are, or what have you, but those who are Christian or those who believe in God, ask him, you know, what are your gifts and talents? We all come here with gifts and talents, and it says your, your gift will make room for you. So sometimes we are sitting on that very thing that will make us happy, more fulfilled, um, that will bring us more money, more delight, more freedom. We're sitting on it, but we don't know what to do with it. And some of us don't know what our gifts and talents are. You could have a gift for baking um, and different things like that. Say like, I bake, but I don't think baking is my gift. It's my talent, but not necessarily my gift. Your gift, as far as what I've heard and what I believe to be, is that your gift, you do it regardless. If you got paid for it or if you didn't. Um, some people just have a gifting for things. Some people like to bake, and they just bake just because. And this one lady, I was talking to her at church, and she was saying that she would just cook from sunup to sundown. If somebody gave her a big gourmet kitchen, she said she does it now. But all oh, her dream is to have a big kitchen. She said she would just cook, cook, cook. She cooks for people. And also she wants to open up a restaurant and stuff. But her thing is cooking. And people love her cooking. So it's something that you can help other people with while enjoying doing it yourself. Um, a talent, I believe, is something you can do. This is something you can do. It's not necessarily going to make you money. And it can make you money. But it's not necessarily going to make you money. But it's just something like some people... I have a talent for baking. I don't think it's my gifting because I wouldn't do it sun up to sundown. <laughs> because I don't like to be in the kitchen. I like to create things. I like to make things. I like for people to be like, oh, this tastes so good. And, you know, blah, blah, blah. But as far as, um, you know, a lot of times people know that I bake. And so family, friends, or what have you. And they'd be making out their list and stuff. And they'd be like, oh, you can bake a cake. And you can I'm like, no, I cannot. <laughs> I don't want me. I don't like to be in the kitchen a long time. So I'd rather do some green beans and be in and out, you know. But a cake takes, takes a long time. I like to do cakes more so just here and there. Uh, but I do, I've, I've done cakes before and, you know, made them for people and, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, it just depends, you know. And I could do a lot of things. I am... Excuse me. I'm gifted with a lot of things and I'm talented with a lot of things. So, but the thing is, the thing that you would do and you just wouldn't have to make money from it. You can do that and then that could bring in your treasure. Um, because I think my thing would be, I could talk about uh, marriage and family all day long until I'm blue in the face. I just love it. I just love it. Uh, I probably would have wanted to be, I don't know if I want to be a marriage counselor as much as just passing on information. So you've probably seen, the, seen that. A lot of you that have been with me a long time, I've done videos on marriage and stuff like that. And I'm going to do a, a little, a video coming up. I don't know if it's going to be a series or just one or two videos, but it's just in me about um, the older women teaching the younger women. Um, just how how to live, to love your children, raise your children, love your husband, be a good spouse, to do this. There are mandates that God gives us. So anyway, I know that I've gone here, there, and everywhere with this conversation. <laughs> but the thing is, changing your life. Seize the day. Seize today and change your life. Write the plan. Write it. Make it plain. Okay? Write the vision and make it plain. So that's the that's the, all this that I've just talked about. The main focus is seizing the day. Start today. Start now. Stop putting off changes. We're getting older day by day. I don't know how old you are, but we're good. Whether you're young or whether you're older, everybody's time is the same. Now our lifespans are different. But we have the same amount of time during the day. That's what I'm saying. We have 24 hours in the day. So start now. Don't keep wishing, hoping, praying, dreaming, da 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 da. Do all that, but do it collectively and, and put action behind it. Okay? All right, guys. I am going to cut off from that, but seize the day. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to stop eating because I'm full. I am full. But this meal, I cannot go any longer. Burger King was one of my first loves because my cousin, Coretta, she passed away unexpectedly. Um, mm. I need to drink that so I wouldn't, wouldn't cry. Have y'all ever, do y'all find that drinking something helps you not to cry? <laughs> but anyway, she's one of my favorite cousins. And she died unexpectedly about four years ago, I think it's been now. But we used to, she lived in Cleveland. I was born in Cleveland, but I wasn't raised there. But anyway, we'd go back to visit often to Cleveland. And, you know, I would go over her house and then my other cousin, Ronnie's house. When I was over Coretta's, our fun thing to do was to go to the show and get Burger King and take in the show. <laughs> oh my goodness, we would get a bacon double cheeseburger, fries, and a Sprite. I will never forget that. I think sometimes I got orange. They had orange pop at that time. Um, but it was usually a Sprite. Double bacon cheeseburger, fries, and a Sprite. We'd sneak it into the show. <laughs> but that was one of our favorite things to do. Stop, Tracy. Stop. Mm. I'm going to let my son eat these nuggets. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I probably finished y'all food a while ago. I heard Miss C say something about she eats slow. <laughs> Or she eats and talk. I eat and talk during my videos. I'm going to try that one day. Just just eating. Because some people like to just see you eat. And they like, stop talking. I just want to see you eat. But I like to talk. I have a surprise for you all tomorrow. Tomorrow Wednesday. But I think tomorrow. So tune in for tomorrow's video. I got something. Fun for me. This is a, an accomplishment for me doing what I do here on YouTube. So, but some of you may like to see it. So tune in tomorrow. Mm. I know one thing. I'm going to finish this orange up if I don't finish nothing now. All right, guys. So that is it. Seize the day. Be blessed. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to do another video in this jersey. And I'm going to see what your goals are, okay? So like I said, write your plans down. Write the vision and make it plain. And I want to hold you accountable to what you're, what you're going to, you know, what you want to do. So when I come back, I'm going to ask you, what are your dreams? What are your goals? Whether you start now or you're just planning for 2019. So when I come back, I'm going to ask you, what have you planned? What is your action plan? How are you going to do it? Okay? It doesn't have to be a long explanation, but I just want you to give me a gist of, you know, what it is you're working towards, you know, if you wrote it down and everything, and the action steps, you know, that you're going to take. All right? Because I love y'all, and I want y'all to be happy too. All right? Be blessed, and I'll see you next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.